Hey everyone. We are live on YouTube. All right, well, um, hope you guys are having a great day. We have a couple viewers. Um, if you guys have any questions, any math questions, please post your math questions in the live chat over here and I will address those live. It could be any philosophical questions, math questions, what is infinity, what's a derivative. You can ask anything and the purpose of this is just to help everyone understand mathematics a little more for free. So, um, what is a more learning? More learning is just a, um, a free resource to provide free um, math videos for students to learn mathematics in um, a way that makes sense. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel um, so that you can get a reminder. We do free tutoring every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, which is right now. And um, this is just a great opportunity for students to just get free help for their classes. Or if you're just interested in learning about some math topics, um, this is also a great resource for that. Um, that being said, uh, before I get into the first question that we have on our live chat, which is regarding textbooks, um, I want to mention that we are rolling out our um, statistics class, which is going to be very cool. We have right now about 14 videos that we will be posting very shortly. And so we hope to have a video posted every single day um, that way you guys can get non-stop free content um, on how to do statistics, how to do, uh, eventually we'll do other classes such as basic math and so on. So um, that's where we're at right now. Uh, we're very, very close to publishing those videos. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty, so we have a math question. This is from Eaton. Um, and the question is, um, hi Cody, I want, your recommendations about books of mathematical proof thanks in advance. All right, so um, this is a really hard question to answer, and let me explain to you why. Um, unfortunately, right now, uh, mathematics education researchers who are studying um, uh, proofs courses in colleges and universities are coming to find out that the way we're teaching this class is all messed up, and students struggle and it seems as though every single way we try to address um, how to teach this class, every time we try to switch up our teaching styles or maybe we try to go at it from a different angle, no matter what we do, unfortunately, uh, the results look bad. So textbooks have this, um, this issue where most students don't really read textbooks and trying to understand math through literal English words and not actually being there, experiencing the math yourself is incredibly challenging. So that being said, there, there are not a lot of good options out for you, Eaton. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the options that I have um, that are decent and um, they're all right, but honestly, what I recommend is go over to my math uh, Udemy course. Um, it's, uh, it's free if you just use a more learning all caps is how you spell it or you can look up the YouTube channel um, and you can see how to spell it. There's no space, it's just a more learning. I'll even post it up in the live chat right now. Use that coupon code, you'll get um, my course for free. And just look up how to, how to do proofs. Um, if that doesn't work out for you, let me know and I'll try to, I'll try to fix that problem. That being said, um, oh and there, you can also, I, I do want to also give you another, if you're interested in my other courses, there's also um, this coupon code, which will get you 95%. Um, now, that being said, um, I do want to show you the textbooks out there, so you can buy these textbooks. These are educational resources, so just keep that in mind. Um, the one that I use is called How to Prove It. This is a, a structured approach um, and it's pretty decent. It's not too bad how to prove it. Um, I think this is a response to the difficult book. And this is, by the way, the first uh, math proofs textbook that came out for the most part. 
Uh, it's How to Solve It. This is by Polya. Polya uh, did a lot of combinatorics and graph theory and I believe some other interesting um, math topics, but this guy was kind of a genius when it came to the research field. But in terms of the teaching, um, he had this theory of, this is how you learn proofs. It's like a four-step theory, and I wanna see if I can find it um, in here. Yeah, four phases, page five. Let's see if we can, I wanna show you how, um, difficult this is so you have to let's see understand the problem make a plan carry out your plan and then look back at your at your problem this to me is honestly a terrible way of how you prove things in general coming up with a proof is not easy Honestly, the way I think you come up with a proof is you try to understand the problem. That's like step one, and that requires, honestly, like 30, 40 sub-steps. Like, you can't just, like, willy-nilly understand the problem. It's just four steps. The first step is understand the problem. Most students can't get through that part. Uh, so just trying to figure out what the question is asking, maybe through a visual understanding or through some other um, symbolic understanding. There's also this textbook, which is, I guess, it's it's new in the sense that a lot of teachers are trying it. I don't know how well, it, how good it is. It's called um, Chapter Zero, which is a basically a cut and dry proofs book. It's just straight up proofs and theorems, and so there's not. A, there's not a lot of teaching involved, but honestly, if you want to learn how to prove stuff, the best way to do it is just to start doing it. Um, and if you don't know how to do it in the beginning, I recommend all of my students to just look at, um, just copy paste how other people prove and then start learning what's going on in their minds as they write your, as you copy that proof. And then eventually you kind of get an understanding of um, proofs in general, and then you'll be able to do them on your own. Now that being said, those are the three. Oh, there's actually, uh, there's one more book I want to show. This one's actually brand new too. It's very, very new. Um, it's called Discrete Mathematics. It's by Susan Epp. She does a lot of research. Um, Susan Epp is a really, really, really um, decent author at writing books. Um, her research papers, I might have some disagreements there, here and there, but um, her books are honestly solid when it comes to this research field. So. Susan at Discrete Mathematics, if you want to get a, just a decent understanding of proofs, um, but you don't want to get full into depth of the stuff that doesn't matter, this is the book to buy. And it also talks about the basics of other mathematics topics, such as combinatorics, um, calculus, um, maybe some topology here and there. And that's pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. Um, so I think that's kind of, it, it gives you a taste of what the other topics are like. Um, whereas the other proof textbooks kind of keep it set theory, which is something that not a lot of re math researchers study. It's kind of boring. Um, that being said, I do want to show you, um, Eaton, some of the uh, some of the books that are not proofs books in the sense that they sh they teach you how to prove, but they're books that to me are really well written and they're math textbooks. So um, the first one is Abstract Algebra. This is uh, Thomas Hungerford. Um, this textbook is great because um, it's not too fast. There is um, another abstract algebra textbook. I forgot the authors. Um, I showed you, showed you guys a couple weeks ago. Um, it was really thick and it goes really fast. And there's just so much overwhelming details. You get so lost so easily. And if you get lost, you don't know where to go. This one's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of text on each page so you can, um, it feels like you can go by um, a lot of content, um, but also it goes into a great amount of detail um, at the same time. Um, introduction to graph theory. This one was my favorite graph. I'm a graph theory um, guy, so I love graph theory. Um, uh, particularly this textbook, talks about a lot of different graph theory topics. 
Um, I personally don't like the order that this textbook is written in, but I do absolutely love um, this author and how how many topics, subtopics in graph theory this author talks about. So um, Douglas West does a lot of stuff with games, and I love games. So he looks at different things like chess, Connect Four, and he makes up some other different games. And his his job is to look at this in terms of graph theory and figure out how can we win these games every single time. And that to me is a really really cool topic in mathematics. Um, this is a really cool calculus textbook. So if you're interested in the topic of real analysis or complex analysis, this is by um, I don't know how to say this name. His first name is Edward Goggin. I want to say it's the last name. Uh, it's called Introduction to, Introduction to Analysis, Fifth Edition. It's thin, but it's thick of content, and um, it's pretty decent at top uh, discussing all the topics of real analysis, but slowly, so you get um, uh, you get an understanding of the basics. You kind of get your foot in the door. You're not going to be a real analysis pro by the end of this, but it will allow you to um, understand some um, some real analysis without you know feeling overwhelmed. And then these last two ones are my last two are my two favorite textbooks. Just period. These are my two favorite textbooks, hands down. Um, before I get onto that though, um, I noticed there's some viewers. Just make sure you um, post your question in the live chat and we will address those questions. All right, so these again are not math proofs textbooks, but they are definitely great textbooks. This is, an, this is called Elementary Number Theory and it's by um, Kenneth Rosen. This textbook is really thick, but if you want to learn number theory, and I'm talking like elementary number theory, the fun stuff, the fun number theory, not like you know, super advanced research number theory. This is a great textbook because it goes so in depth in every little topic in number theory. Um, and I love that. And it's just got endless, endless pages of content. So you're gonna go really slow through number theory. I have another textbook that's really thin that's for number theory and I got lost so quickly because there wasn't a lot of teaching involved. It was just Throw some um, prob throw give like one example and then give you 30 home uh, homework questions and expect you to be able to do all 30 of them. This one does a really good job of being coherent. It's got a great flow. I love the order. Just everything about this is awesome. This great textbook, definitely my favorite math textbook ever. 100%. This next one is my second favorite, and it's cryptography. So for all my crypto cryptography fans out there. Um, yeah, <laughs> the book is really thick. I, yeah, it is really, really thick. But um, if you want to learn about anything in number theory, I'm dead serious. This textbook is great. This is an amazing textbook. And it's got some really cool applications too. Um, but if you, if you took every single number theory class in America, this covers all of it everything it will work in any number theory class you just go through this and um, I, I have I still have yet to do solve all the problems on here because um, there's just overwhelming amount of content and you can just honestly just go straight to the table of contents and um, just look at the different topics pick your topic go there and and Kenneth Rosen will pretend like you don't know anything and just Start from the ground and work your way up to amazing examples. So great textbook. Um, this one's also for my cryptography fans. Introduction to cryptography with coding theory. So um, this is by Trapp in Washington. I've met Washington. He's a great cryptographer. Uh, his student in, um, invented RSA um, cryptography. Which, um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you notice, by the way, it says that little green HTTPS. You, uh, if you're on Firefox, you can actually see the certificate and look at what the RSA codes are. And um, yeah, this guy's student invented that, by the way. Now he's a millionaire. Um, I'm not that cool. <laughs> Neither is Washington, apparently. The student is, but his, Washington's not. Felt really bad because he, he gave him an idea and like kind of like guided him and pushed him towards that RSA invention. 
and then now this guy's rich and Washington's kind of left in the dust here. But um, in terms of the content and like what's taught, this is a great textbook for trying to understand the most modern um, crypto uh, systems. Now for elliptic curve cryptography, uh, Washington and Trap have another text, has, they have another textbook for that. Um, it's really confusing, don't even try. Unless you're in like grad school in mathematics, just don't. This textbook is more for like students who are like maybe engineers or they really like mathematics and they just want to get their hands wet a little bit. This will make you feel like a 2018 mathematician, but at the same time won't um, overwhelm you with a bunch of, just a bunch of math. This is like no math at all um, for the most part. And it's really cool. And again, just like Kenneth Rosen, you can go to any chapter in this textbook and, um, and just start right off the bat. And they'll do a really good job. Um, that being said, another great resource is Nancy Childress. Um, if you look at her website, in terms of cryptography, she runs what's called the Crypto Rally. Um, I've done the Crypto Rally twice in Arizona, and I won once. <laughs> but um, and then it's a it's, it's just a great event. But she goes uh, Nancy Childress. She runs this whole thing. Um, Dr. Childress. She um, she has an example of every single crypto system imaginable. So if you want to look into the different crypto systems, Nancy Childress. And again, you can also uh, check out my crypto um, crypto course on Udemy. Uh, use a more learning. It's a, it's a free course if you want to do that. And um, I go through the number theory and the cryptography that you need to understand. And you get to see some like really cool um, crypto systems and feel like you understand some 2018 stuff left behind in the 17th. You know, that's the one thing I don't like about this textbook is that you get left behind and you feel like you're in the 18th century because you know as much as those in the 18th century by the end of this. But at the same time, you feel like you really know math because it's really cool stuff and like Fibonacci sequence stuff. It's really awesome. Just love it. Kenneth Rosen, elementary number theory and its applications. Just, just get this. Anyways, it looks like we don't have any more questions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this to an intermediate time. Um, I'm gonna take a 10 minute break and if anyone has any more math questions, you can post it on the live chat over here. And once when the countdown comes, uh, uh, runs out, if we have any more questions, we'll address them. If we don't, then um, you know we'll just have another uh, YouTube live on Sunday. So I'll see you guys on Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern time uh, if we don't have any questions. Thanks guys. Yeah, we're good, by the way.